This is breaking news from Local 3 News. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. Let's get to that breaking news story. A Ringgold neighborhood was rocked by gunfire in a domestic dispute this evening. When sheriff's deputies arrived at the address, they say the suspect fired at them, keeping them at a distance. At the end of a nearly four hour standoff, two people were dead and one was injured. The sheriff says that injured person was one of his deputies who was grazed by a bullet in the melee. Abigail Martins live in Ringgold and Abigail fill us in on the details. This began at 540 because of a man with a gun. Sheriff Sisk says a suspect, a 72 year old male, took his own life. When deputies arrived on the scene, the suspect's son-in-law was found shot to death. Uh, around 540 this evening, the sheriff's office received a call to uh, 98 Summit Drive. It was uh, some sort of a domestic man with a gun. Shots had been fired. Uh, deputies arrived on the scene to find one male laying in the roadway that appeared to be deceased. Sheriff Gary Sisk says the suspect then began to fire at deputies from the home. He says there were other family members on the porch and in the house that had to take cover. He says the suspect's daughter and children were able to get out with help, but the wife remained in the home with the suspect. He says deputies could not get them to safety because the suspect continued to fire as they approached. That's when they called Georgia State Patrol SWAT for an armored vehicle. Uh, I did have one officer that got grazed by a bullet. Uh, we thought he'd been shot. More seriously, but uh, upon closer inspection, it was just a, a graze. Sisk says GSP SWAT attempted to negotiate with the suspect, but says he would not talk. And we did uh, initiate some gas into the home, and eventually we found the subject. He's a 72-year-old male. But, uh, he is deceased in the home that appears to be by a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Sisk says the suspect does have a criminal history. He says in 2017, they responded to a similar situation with the subject. And he did the same thing and had a gun, uh, but luckily we wound up being able to, to talk him out of the house and get him out of the house to surrender. A very different outcome this time with a suspect and a family member dead. Sheriff Sisk says there is no danger now and they are unsure of a motive at this time. The GBI will investigate. Reporting live, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.